Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young and today I'm gonna to show you guys a really, really fun technique using acrylic paint, of course, and some gold leaf. So I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate gold leaf into your paintings. I've been doing this for years and I absolutely love it. Morning though, it is super messy. <laughs> You could probably see little flakes of gold leaf around my easel from um, doing some projects earlier. Anyhow, I think this is something you guys will really enjoy and I can't wait to show you how to do it. So you're going to need some gold leaf. Now it's not real gold, but I just get it in bulk. There's so many different colors. These are three by three sheets and you can get it in blue. I got a multicolored um, pack and there's like pink, red, blue, green, uh, purple, silver, rose gold, and copper, and bronze. Everything, every color you can think of, they have. We're going to be using some white paint. I've got titanium, and I've also got some Mars black. I'm also going to be using um, a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm going to use the Mod Podge. You can use any white glue you want um, for applying it to the canvas and then uh, using the glue for the, the, the gold leaf to adhere to. When you're all finished your painting with gold leaf, you want to make sure that you isolate it. And that means that um, it doesn't oxidize after, it doesn't interfere with the elements in the paint or the Mod Podge and fade. So you want the gold leaf to stay looking shiny. And I would like to use acrylic sealer gloss for that. You can use, well, it doesn't have to be glossy, but I just really like gloss because I want it to be shiny, right? So if you want a more subtle look, you can use a semi-gloss or even a matte, um, but you really want to make sure you do that 12 or 24 to 48 hours after your painting is dry. And then you just want to apply one to two coats evenly. Don't brush too hard and scrub. Just put it on lightly and then leave it. Uh, and it should keep your painting nice and bright for years to come. Well, let's go ahead and get started now. What I want to do is apply, I'm just going to shake this up and I'm going to apply a little bit over the canvas. But this um, technique is really nice for um, painting cityscapes. You can use the gold leaf for the bright lights of the city and then come around with the buildings. And then I'm going to go right in with the sheets. So you want to use the paper for burnishing. And I'll explain what that is. You want to just place it on there. And then you want to go over the paper and gently rub to get that gold leaf to stick onto that canvas. And then I'm just going to gently pull up. And start applying some more. Now you can add it anywhere you want. There's, you don't have to be precise about this. Just have fun. Sometimes it's kind of fun to do this. Apply it anywhere you want without knowing what you're going to paint yet. And then figure it out after. And it just makes it a little bit more exciting to paint that way. I'll add a little bit up here. So yes, you can paint over acrylics and you can use your acrylic paint to paint over the gold leaf. Now this sometimes happens, that's okay. If there's a little bit of a breeze or it just happens with gold leaf, it's really delicate, but I don't worry about that. I kind of go with wherever it falls, wherever it kind of peels off and breaks. I use that. Incorporate those little cracks and different shapes, unevenness into the painting. Yeah, I guess the Mod Podge is probably dry here already so you might need to gently go over with a little bit more so 
if you have a quick drying glue like I am using, you need to work quickly with this stuff. Now I've used this with my grandson who's he's about four and a half now, but when he was three, we were using this and he just loved it. I let I let the gold leaf fly everywhere. We were even in the kitchen, not even my studio. And he had a blast. We painted Christmas ornaments and all sorts of Christmas crafts and incorporated the gold leaf. It's so much fun, all ages. That's the thing about art, doesn't matter. You're never too young and you're never too old. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just take one of my dry mop brushes and I'm just going to gently flake off and brush off what's not going to stick. Now if you want to do your entire canvas in gold leaf, that's pretty too. It is different than using metallic paints. This is the shiniest. I've experimented and and tested it out to see if I could get a paint unless you're using like a chrome spray paint but I just personally really don't like spray paints I don't I don't like uh, aerosols or any kind of spray paint I prefer to just do it this way there are some really nice paints out there don't get me wrong but I don't know there's just something really really exquisite and beautiful about working with gold leaf. So messy though. I mean, my floor <laughs> is just covered. So I'm just brushing over here with a little bit of gold leaf flakes. And then I'm gonna use this For my landscape. I might add just a little bit more because I am having fun. I'm going to add a little bit more, I think. So you can layer over. And you can get these in larger sheets too. You could get them in, I think it's more expensive. The bigger the sheets you get I'm not I'm not totally sure but then you could just get a canvas covered a lot quicker but I like all the different little cracks you get it's just so light and delicate so if you have any breeze it just flies I remember the very first time I decided to experiment with it. I was so frustrated because I wanted to get it on perfectly and it just wasn't happening. And of course I was silly. I didn't I didn't know that it was so delicate and I had the fan going and there was gold flying. <laughs> I was frustrated, but it was so beautiful at the same time. I just kept going with it and experimenting. And I just learned that it kind of does have a mind of its own. You kind of have to work with it and be a team with it because like my finger. Um, yeah, otherwise you're working against it. Okay, I'm gonna dry it off and then I'm gonna start coming in with I just found another little piece on the floor. Well, there's a million pieces on the floor, but one big chunk there. Okay, so dry it off, and then we're gonna start coming in with our painting. Okay, now that it's all dry, I'm just gonna add a little bit more uh, black here to my palette. I've got some white there. I'm gonna be using a flat brush and my number 14 filbert brush. I'm also going to be using a one inch mop brush and 
I'm gonna just start by coming in with my flat brush and taking a little bit of white and black I'm gonna make some gray a little bit darker than the gray base background and I'm just gonna come over top just really gently over these corners and the top of the canvas. And then a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna tap around, soften, and slightly blend where the gold meets that dark gray. Okay, I'm going to take some black on the end of my brush and I'm going to add a little river bed. I'm just going to start in the middle. Wiggle. And have it just come out here. Okay, I'm going to pull some areas a little thicker, so just push a little bit harder. And go up and over for some height, maybe some rocks. And then a little pull Gentle little pull down like this. Wherever you have these sticky part, these sticky outy parts, <laughs> the little lines that stick out, then you can just pull right down. And a little bit more black, just cut right into it. So you have a little layer of paint just here on the end of your brush. Slide underneath some of these areas, making them extra dark. And then we'll just pull a faint little line back here. And then right across. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush to thin the paint out. And I'm going to gently pull. some trees just the beginning stages of our trees all right the next brush I'm going to use is my filbert brush I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to start with my brush turned narrow like this and then start tapping some branches a little bit wider as they get down to the bottom the base of the tree make this one a little taller See how that gold just glistens through those trees. You could add some little ones like that. Have one 
bigger one that goes right off the canvas. We will bring that one down lower here, seeing as how it's a lot bigger. Bring it towards us in the foreground. I love using the filbert brush for trees. I like using the filbert brush for a lot of things I've got. Because of that, I've made a tutorial all about the filbert brush, how to load it properly, and different techniques you can use it for. I'm just going to lightly pull like that for shadow. The next thing I'm going to do is take some white. I'm going to mix it with black to make gray. And I'm going to start adding a little bit of frost. So you just want to make sure that you're not covering up all of the black because you want to have that dark base so that these bright shades of gray or white really show up. Okay, we'll make some more. Give it just a little a little bit more white here because it's blending into the the bay base color gray and I'm gonna just catch the edge of that tree and a little bit of the base dab lighter for the smaller trees, especially if they're farther away. The gold leaf just adds so much life and energy to the painting. And then wherever you display it, it will change with the light and the lighting in the room. So you could make it more subdued. You could have it, you know, under a spotlight. Okay, I'm just gonna go over part of this. I'm gonna add some white right there in the center, just Twisting around with my brush, placing it, twisting it around. Decide how big you want it to be. And then I'm just going to add a little reflection here in the water, a little white reflecting. And then we're just going to take some white or some snow and add it lightly over. the side here still leaving some of that gold exposed and you know the gold's gonna be visible through especially when you're you're applying a thin coat gonna add a little reflection down below gentle pull straight down and then across okay let's add a little bit of white I mean I just have a little bit there on the end of my brush Oh, this looks like a waterfall, doesn't it? It could be too. So adding some white, thin white over the gold gives it that warm light 
You don't have to use like the full strength gold leaf everywhere in your painting. It's nice to layer over with a little bit of thinned out black or thinned out white. I'm just going to come around and add a few little scoops, tight little scoops here for some clouds. Take a little bit more black and just graze. Uh, right side of that tree but you know what's really nice is a thin layer of black I don't know if you guys can see this I'm going to take it out after I'm done the painting and kind of move it around so you get that play on light um, but the black over a thin layer of black over the gold leaf will give you like a bronze a beautiful sort of earthy bronze shade which is really nice so you're we're creating different values with this limited palette today I'm going to take a little bit more white on the tip of my brush and I'm going to choose a few areas to add a little bit more snow on these branches. Well, maybe we'll add a little bit more to this big guy here. And then I'm going to turn my brush over flat, grip it like this. I mean, this is just how I do it. You can do it however you feel comfortable. Place my finger here and the paint on the bottom. And I'm just going to very lightly kind of tap, barely touch that tree. a little bit more bright white little rocks going to round the sun or moon could be a sun or a moon I guess and it doesn't have to make sense you know it doesn't have to be one or the other it just is what it is I, I usually like I tell everybody let the viewer decide art is so subjective and I say just like don't try to make sense of it how does it make you feel when you look at it so I'm just taking a little bit of white on my pinky and just making it brighter in the center. Just gonna soften a little bit more. I'm gonna add a few little, a few little bushes down here, I think. And I'm gonna start with some black, give us a nice dark base. The brush was dry and I just tapped in lightly to load it. And I'm gonna add, I'll add a little bush right here. Maybe a little one kind of tucked away over here on this side. Okay, then I'm going to take a clean mop brush that's dry. And actually not that one. I'm going to use this one. I like the shape better. I like that it's kind of uh, oval. And I'm going to take some white, tap lightly. Again, loading a dry brush. 
You don't want to get it wet first because the water will wreck the shape. The only time you get the, the brush wet uh, is when you're using it for a certain technique where you need water in it, which I don't think I ever do. But uh, you want to wash it when you're all done, of course, with just some warm water and a little bit of mild dish soap. And I'm just going to start to tap over partially over top above the black and partially over the black. That way we get a nice highlight, but also some mid-tones. So we go from black, gradiate, see the value changes. We go from dark to light. So we get these mid-tones, this gray. And then if you want to add a little bit more, Okay, let's go and do the same thing over here. Once we added this, these bushes, it puts everything else uh, further back. So now this bush looks like it's in front of those trees. So it's another way of learning how to paint perspective. Now I want to add just a little bit of um, a little bit of snow, delicate snowflakes. So I'm just going to use my uh, little toothbrush. I've got gold flakes in my water. <laughs> just add a little bit of water. And then all you do is just go into a little bit of white. Gentle little scrub. I'm not pushing. I'm just trying to get it evenly coated. And then just turn it over, aim, and flick. So the last thing I want to do is just I'm going to use the corner of my brush here with a little bit of white paint and I'm going to add some smaller stones. I'm just going to do a little loop like that, little half circles. Just fit some in here and there. And then a little icy wiggle here. And I think this is so pretty. I'm just going to add the finishing touches of extra white. And then I'm going to take this out uh, of the easel. I'm going to move it around and you can see the Fun play on color and light. Now can you imagine experimenting doing this type of scene with maybe silver underneath or rose gold? That would be so pretty and feminine. You could even do like the, the blue uh, gold leaf or green. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was really, really fun. I'm addicted to it. And I think after I um, stop the camera rolling, I'm going to just continue to play around here using different gold leaf. And uh, I want to wish you guys all the best. Thanks so much for all your support here on my channel and on Patreon. Um, I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.